Hello, um, I'd like to share with you a quick word today. Um, first, let's start with prayer. Lord, I thank you for this grace you've given me to share the word of God with your servants all across the world and, ev and also to everybody who will just stumble across this video. I pray, Lord, minister to them, touch their, touch their hearts, transform them, that they may know your word, your love, and your truth. I praise you and thank you, Lord. It is in the mighty and precious name of Lord Jesus Christ I've prayed. Amen. So, um, just a quick remark, you know, if this video uh, appears to be direct or, you know, too, too in your face, it is not my intention. This is just something that God placed on my heart. While noticing so many trends that go on in society, but they are unaddressed, even by the body of Christ. You know, so many believers, they go at church and behave a certain way, sing a certain way, say certain hymns. You know, so it's a claim me professing a surrender to Jesus, but really their hearts are not with them. And a big part of that is by what we watch. The Bible says that by beholding, we become changed. And what Jesus Christ has made available in the New Testament, it is a relationship, a proximity with him that changes our lives completely. And let me tell you this, beloved, the, the devil will not do your homework. The devil will not do your homework. That's why he has to go through media. That he, that's why he has to go through movies. That's why he has to go through anime. That's why he has to go through pornography. That's why he has to go through all these different media, different types of entertainment in order to transform the mind, convert the people, turn them into, into lukewarm, fake Christians, turn them into religious people, people who do the act, people who do the act but not live the life. People who say the words, but don't profess Jesus Christ in spirit and in truth. You know, God will not be mocked. And it's not all, all those who say, Lord, Lord, that will enter the kingdom of God. But those who do the will of the Father, that's what Jesus says. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all of these things shall be added unto you. There will be no blessing in sin. There will be no blessing. No protection, no favor, no grace when somebody lives in sin. Only the curse. And I'd like to share with you the word of God in Romans chapter 1 concerning this topic. topic starting from uh, verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, Paul said, of Christ. For it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. For the Jew first and also for the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. I'd like to take a pause here and just men and just reiterate this statement: the just shall live by faith. And here it is the faith of Lord Jesus Christ Himself. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 says that if you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and He's risen from the dead and profess it with your mouth, you know, you shall be saved. It is that faith that saves you. It is not your works, it is not your religion, it's not how much you pray, it is not how much you read the Bible, but is this the faith of Jesus Christ that saves you in for the dead? That power that God released to save him, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 to 23 says that that power God has made available for you so that you too may arise from the dead, you too may possess an incorruptible body, but for that you must remain in the faith. Man, you must remain in the faith. That's what the Bible says in Colossians chapter 1 verse 23. You must remain in the faith. You know, so many people compromise because it's hard. Everything, everything is corrupted. Media is corrupted. So people just go with the flow. But that's why it's because of these things, because of this, lax, this, this laziness on the part of Christians and the church alike, that we see all of this movement and all of this nonsense being projected in the world. Paul goes on in from, and from verse 18 onwards saying, From the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Because what may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it to them. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead so that they are without excuse. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were they thankful, but became futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools, 
and exchanged the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image like corruptible men, men and birds and four-footed animals and creeping things. Therefore God gave them up to, the, to uncleanliness in the lust of their hearts to dishonor their bodies among themselves, who exchanged the truth of God for the lie and worshipped and served the creature rather than the, cre than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Verse 26. For this reason, God gave them up to vile passions, for even their women exchanged the natural use that is against nature. Likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust for one another, men with men, committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the penalty of the error which was due. And even as they did not like to retain the, in God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting, being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, mal maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness. They are whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who knowing the righteous judgment of God that those who practice such things are deserving of death, not only do the same, but also approve of those who practice them. Amen. And this is the end of chapter 1 from Romans, from verse 16 to 32. Beloved, I must say this. This is shocking. This is shocking. Because if you look from a verse 28, 30, 29, 30, and 31, and 32, you see that everything is being checkmarked in this generation. If you if you look for people who are filled with unrighteousness everywhere, sexual immorality everywhere, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness, whispering, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, boosters, inventors of evil things. We have nuclear bombs. The World War III is coming. All this nonsense all across the globe. It's because people have decided to put God out. If I'm going 19, in the 1960s, I was discussing this with someone. That it all started with the schools. They, they, they've taken God out, started a sexual revolution, introduced all of this, you know, rainbow-like wicked community. And all of this, all of this stuff that is, has been going in the world is this is what is causing people to die. Millions and millions and millions of children are being aborted every single day. Every single year, if I may say so like that. And all of this because the knowledge of God has been removed from people's mind. You know, and I'd like to conclude with this at verse 32. The Bible says, who knowing the righteous judgment of God, that those who practice such things are deserving of death, not only do the same, but also approve of those who practice them. You know, the question is, how do you, you know, you might say, I don't, you know, I don't watch pornography. I don't, you know, kill people. I don't do wicked things. But the Bible says that it's not only those who do those things that are deserving of God's wrath, but those who approve of them. You know, if I'd, I'd like to ask you a question. How do you, where do you spend your money? You know, people say you vote with your dollar. You know, people who sponsor places like Netflix, you know, places where they, they, they promote all these sexual revolutionary agendas, you know, and you say you're a child of God, all for the sake of entertainment. Beloved, we're not part-time Christians. We're Christians on Sunday. We're Christians on Monday through Saturday. We are followers of Yeshua. We are, we are, we are sold out to Jesus. And Satan has no place, no right, no, no legal access to us if we remain in the truth. And the Bible says, "You shall know the truth, and the truth shall, shall, shall set you free." This is why these types of messages are so hard. Are so hard. And even in the time of Jesus, when he was on earth, many people left him because they said, "Who can hear it?" 
But the Bible says that we are not of those who go back and perish, but we are those who of those who persevere and obtain the promise. Amen. And I'd like to ask you the question, are you one of those people? Are you one of those people? I was amazed with Pastor Ben Hinn's testimony about when God told him to, to cut off TV, cut off cable, cut off all of those things. And he did. And the blessing upon his life was so great. And for you, it might not be the same, the, the, the same thing. You know, you know all those things which God disapproves of, but because of the flesh, because of the hype, because of the culture, you might be like, okay, I will watch it, but you know, or maybe ask God for forgiveness. Oh, it's not just a big deal, but it is, it is every single second spent in viewing those content, watching those promotion, watching those ads. It's, it's fueling the kingdom of darkness to destroy the lives of children. It is no news to all of us that the, the, all the, the, the attack, the dangers of anime, the attack, the dangers of secular or secular content. I'm not bashing against the community. I'm not bashing against the culture. We are speaking against the work of darkness because Jesus Christ said, we don't take a lamp and put it under the table. Rather, we place it somewhere where everybody can see it. And we are the light of the world. And as long as we are here, the world will not be filled with darkness, overwhelming. Because for where sin abounds, grace abounds even more. And so I'd like to pray with you. Lord, I thank you for this person watching this video. And I thank you, Lord, for giving them the grace to come to this point. Father, I pray as they are meditating on this content, I pray touch their heart. You know those things which you've called them out of and which they're still wrestling with you. Father, I pray break them as you did Jacob. Change their name as you turned him from Jacob to Israel. Lord, I pray may their old identity be finally dealt with at the foot of the cross. And we pray for all your children across the globe. Father, I pray change them. We pray for your grace. We pray for your power. We pray for your love. We pray for your hand. We pray, Jesus, please cleanse our hearts. Cleanse our mouths, cleanse our spirits, cleanse, Lord Jesus, our whole beings. Lord, all those things which you have not called us to do, live, think, and act, may they all be eradicated by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Please, Lord Jesus Christ, send us in the furnace, like Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. May everything that is impure, everything that is unholy, everything that is, Lord Jesus Christ, unjust unloving everything that is of the deceit everything that is of the world everything that has been enumerated in romans chapter 1 verse 28 to 32 may it not be part of our lives for we are the remnant we are the church of lord jesus christ and you've called us to be a spotless and blameless church without spot and wrinkles and father we thank you for this message we thank you for your love we thank you for your power we thank you for your fire I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, work in our lives. Work in our lives. Make us, Lord Jesus, to be that bride, that bride, Lord, which you are which you're which you're waiting for. And Father, I pray as everything that is to be shaken will be shaken. I pray that we may remain unshakable. We pray against all diseases, every attack of the devil, against our family, against our spouses, against every all, all the people around us, even those Lord Jesus in our families who do not know you. Lord Jesus, for your word says, Lord Jesus, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved, you and your household. We pray in the same way. Touch the people around us, Lord Jesus Christ. For it is not in your will that, Lord Jesus, no one should perish, but you want everybody to encounter the glorious gospel of Lord Jesus the Christ. Father, we pray, touch their hearts, transform their lives, and help us to understand that the end is near. The end of all things, the end of all things concerning this age is near. And Father, may we take your word seriously and may we apply our hearts to it. As your word says in, in Josh, uh, Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, Lord, may this book of the law never depart our hearts. May we meditate on it day and night so that we may do faithfully all that is written therein. For in there is our success. In there is our prosperity. Father, we thank you and praise you for your word. And we thank you and praise you for you are Yeshua, Abashia, our Savior and Master and Lord. We praise you and thank you, Lord. It is in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. May God bless you. May he keep you. May his face shine upon you. And may he be gracious unto you. Amen.